Okay, so what I need to do now to get the the 20 inch wheels factored into the controller, um, I need to replace this part of the engine. They call it the controller um, because this particular one is not programmable. So what that means is um, I can't change the wheel diameter from 28 inches down to 20 inches which as I've spoke to before um, it makes the it makes the speeder under read and it cuts the power off before I reach you know the the maximum speed so this part here is the controller this it's also the engine but it's the controller as well and this is what's been sent to me um, from the guys at the Amazon shop that I bought it from um, good guys they're really you know supporting supporting me through this process of, of getting this thing to work properly um, so yeah it's I'll have to pull that all off pull off this the sprocket and then uh, you know make sure that that's that's working as it is as it should do um, and then plug in all of these different connections as well I'm assuming that they are the same connections they look the same connections so it should just be a unbolt 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 um, I'll have to take the crank arm off as well um, and then that should come off and then I should be able to get at these bolts here and that one in there I'll obviously take the light off as well because I, I put it on this cover and then it should be a swap in swap out so let's see how this goes okay so I ended up actually taking the sprocket off with these little bolts here because of course I think that particular bolt is made out of chinesium alloy um, about as has a tensile strength of, of margarine or something like that so I'm just going to leave that one in there and now I'm going to go on to taking this lot off I've taken the um, disconnected all the, the power feeds and the, the speedo feeds so let's move on to this bit now Okay, so I managed to get that out. That was a bit of a faff around this area because the they had sealed it in with all this white sealant. Um, the bolts around the side here were literally just finger tight. Um, so yeah, that's one way of making sure you don't strip the head. Just don't tighten the bolt. Um, but now I'm going to put the other one in and see what happens. Okay, so it's up. Powered it all up, connected it all up. Um, I have changed some of the settings and the wheel size at the bottom here. You can see it there. That is 20 inches, so that's good. I did change the circumference to 1490. Um, it was about at 1595, um, which is not right for a, a 1.5 20 inch tire. So I've changed that and it's it is persistent now, so if I exit out of here, go to the exit, and then if I were to go back in again, I would see it's it's right at 20 inches there. So that that looks promising. Um, I'll be giving it a try tomorrow. Today's Saturday. I ride on Sundays, so I'll be giving it a try, and um, yeah, hopefully I get to see what this what this thing can do. Now I just need to put all of that back together, which is relatively straightforward. The, the gasket that sits between the controller and the motor, this thing here, um, it's quite thick. So that's probably why the, the bolts were, you know, very, very loose, basically finger tight. Um, and that's okay. It's, it's just understanding why certain things are. There are four bolts that hold it together. There's, uh, it's about a two or three mil gasket. And then um, everything else is as the same as it was. So it should be watertight. Um, but yeah, let's, let's see how it works. See how it works tomorrow on the ride.